All right, folks, welcome to the capital of California, or as the governor might say, California. I think you did the same thing last year. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and, and we are on the uh, cap, we're in the capital district and, and right across from our hotel. And uh, it was a heck of a game last night in Los Angeles. And uh, Eric, if the Raptors can bring that same kind of effort, you know that they'll be in good stead tonight against Sacramento. Yeah, and hopefully that's, that's the key, right? Yeah. Is bringing that same kind of effort. If you play like that against Sacramento, against uh, Golden State, even against Portland, you're going to go three and zero the rest of the way, but but how do you bottle that up and, and sustain that the rest of the way? Because you know it's it's maybe easier to get yeah. up for the big games and against you know the the big opponents and the reigning champs and everything else. But uh, I think it's tough to try and get up for these games. But these are the ones you have to get up for. These are the ones you have to take care of. Period. Antoine Wright said it best last night in the locker room. We were standing beside him, and he said, "You know, we played hard tonight, and you know we lost, but." Playing hard tonight is not going to help us tomorrow against Sacramento, and and that's the point. They got to come out and they got to get after it again. But it, what a terrific game last night! If you stayed up to watch it on the East Coast, um, it, it, it might have converted you if you weren't a basketball fan. Yeah. And if you are a basketball fan, it's the kind of drama you live for. And you know, my my uh, partner called it here, uh, the the analyst, when the Raptors scored the three ball by Chris Bosh, only his eighth three-pointer all year was six of 16 going into last night before the two of two Eric said they've left too much time for the closer and sure enough you were right well I'll ask you this Jonesy I wrote this uh, in, in my blog last night and uh, and and I'm, I'm still kind of debating it but we've seen Kobe do that now seven times this season yeah with the game-winning shot and over the course of his career I don't even know what the number is right now I'm gonna say this yeah I know he doesn't have as many rings right now I'm saying he is the best closer in history, period. I think he's better than MJ in terms of closing out games and hitting clutch well, shots. Well, and, and the thing is, and and, I, and here's here's where you would get an argument, is that Jordan was able to, as you said, get the rings and yeah. do some of those, perform some of those heroics in the playoffs. Kobe still needs to do, maybe in some people's eyes, a bit more in the playoffs, but with the way the game's gone global now, uh, no question when it comes to regular season and and the era right now, Kobe just might be right at the top. You know, the other thing as well is, and, and even though he's not hitting the shots or making the shots, if you look back, what does it say about Jordan when he is including teammates and having the trust in them when you think about Paxson and Hodges and other guys Kerr, that, hit those, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kerr, that hit those big shots uh, that, that Jordan you know maybe had the assist on because he actually trusted other people to do so. And that's not to say that Kobe doesn't trust but you know Kobe would rather shoot and sometimes doesn't trust. Well, and, and you know what? If you're going to get blamed, then as Patrick Ewing used to say in New York, I might as well take the shot. Look at one time this year, Kobe passes to our test and our test misses the shot. Yeah. You know that Kobe walked away saying, that's it. No more passing. I'm taking it myself. Now, I mentioned Michael Jordan. Tyreek Evans of the Kings may join special company with Michael Jordan and Oscar Robertson, Robertson excuse me, and uh, LeBron James, only three players in NBA history that have averaged 20 plus points, five plus rebounds, five, five plus, yep. five plus uh, assists in their rookie season. And Evans is, is what, point one behind that right now, 4.9 rebounds per game. So he is right on the brink. He, we'll, we'll get a look at him tonight. He is obviously the leading candidate for rookie of the year, but if you're a Toronto fan, you've got to be hoping that they can not have an emotional letdown after last night, recharge the battery and get after it tonight. It's very, very tight. Toronto in sixth, just barely ahead of two 500 teams behind them in Charlotte and Miami. Game and a half out of ninth right now, so they got to take care of business and then on to San Francisco to play in Golden State on Saturday night. On to food right Lunch. now, right? We'll see you.